Welcome to Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show. Just as I am, hope you are staying safe and healthy as we give you the latest about the automobile and its industry. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features this week. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A subcompact hatchback from Hyundai, the Ioniq 1.6 GLS 6-speed DCT, and a pickup from Isuzu, the D-Max LSA 3-liter 4x4 manual transmission. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two mid-size SUVs, the Ford Everest and the Sangyong Rexton. On Autopedia, we'll have everything about brakes. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the rise of Zero Stain Automotive as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is our focus and we'll be right back after this short break. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now! Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Hyundai. We have been enjoying a smog-free metro over the past two months. Views of mountains behind the skyline. More stars seen at night. But that may soon end as cars and more buses and PUVs return to the streets from the forest per low. But if one wants to help maintain clear skies, options are available with hybrid and full electric vehicles in the market. One option is the Hyundai Ioniq 1.6 GLS 6D CT. Let's check Hyundai's entry to the hybrid market on Car Review. Up next. Automakers worldwide are moving towards offering more hybrid and electric vehicles. This trend has been slow to reach and grow in the local market, hampered in part by hybrids and electrics being more expensive. Classified as a subcompact sedan hatchback, at 4,470 millimeters long, 
1,820 millimeters wide and 1,460 millimeters tall with a 2,700 millimeter wheelbase. The Hyundai Ioniq 1.6 GLS 6 DCT features the wedge shape with high chopped rear design common to most hybrid sedans. But the five-seater, five-door Ioniq hides its hybrid genes well with a rather coupe-like aerodynamic silhouette or profile that has Hyundai claiming lowest in class coefficient of drag. Designed from the ground up to be a green vehicle powered by a hybrid or fuel electric powertrain, the Ioniq still features Hyundai's distinctive trapezoidal grille flanked by sleek protector type headlights and cool daylight running lights. Side mirrors have repeater lights. A spoiler with high mount stop lamp and LED rear lights add a sporty accent to the rear. So do the 17 inch alloy wheels wrapped by 225 x 45R17 tires. The suspension system features McPherson struts in front and multi-link system in the rear. The Hyundai Ioniq 1.6 GLS 6DCT has a hybrid powertrain that features a 1.6 liter inline 4 CVVT engine that generates 105 horsepower at 5,700 RPM and 15 kgm of torque at 4,000 RPM. And a permanent magnet synchronous motor with rated 43.5 horsepower and 170 newton meters of torque. The Ionic Hybrid uses a lithium ion polymer battery with 1.56 kilowatt per hour capacity and power output of 42 kilowatts. The hybrid engine sends power to the front wheels via six-speed dual clutch transmission. Stopping power comes from a brake system using all wheel disc brakes. Inside the Ionic is a clutter-free and comfortable cabin with intuitive instrumentation and controls that is a characteristic of Hyundai interiors. The Ionic brought to local shores has seats for five with great headroom for driver and front seat passenger. The driver benefits from power seat adjustment The driver also benefits from motor-driven power steering, tilt and telescopic steering column, audio remote, Bluetooth, and cruise controls on the steering wheel. The Hyundai Ionic 1.6 GLS 6DCT also comes standard with power door locks, windows and side mirrors, full automatic air conditioning, front map lamps with sunglass case, and an infotainment system with 5-inch touchscreen with radio tuner and CD player. It also comes standard with a host of active and passive safety and security features. These include, among others, dual front airbags, side and curtain airbags, anti-lock brake system, engine immobilizer, and a rear parking assist system complemented by a rear camera with dynamic guidelines. Finally, the Hyundai Ionic 1.6 GLS 6DCT comes with a smart key with illuminated push-button start. Many governments in the world offer tax and other incentives to both sellers and buyers of hybrid and electrics to make them more affordable, all while setting tougher emission benchmarks. These, plus a growing awareness for the need to lower global emissions of carbon oxides and other harmful pollutants, should help the shift to greener vehicles. The latest auto industry news and developments, right after this break.
Welcome back to Auto Focus. And we now have the latest auto industry news. Toyota Motor Philippines recently launched the new WeGo in an interactive digital reveal streamed online, led by no less than their president, Atsuhiro Okamoto. I'm happy to celebrate a new milestone with all of you. The official launch of a new Toyota WeGo. I must say that my first car launch as TMP president is quite an extraordinary experience. As we adapt to the new normal, we bring you TMP's very first official interactive digital vehicle launch. In the past, we can only gather a small number of guests to witness our event. But now, in cyberspace, we are able to reach hundreds of thousands of people in the country to witness the unveiling of Toyota's most loved entry-level passenger car, the Toyota Wigo. According to the company, this new model addresses mobility needs during these trying times, provides the best options for budget-conscious first-time car buyers, and for those looking for an extra car for other family members. It has been the car of choice for young professionals, young couples, just starting a family, and even university students. Headlined by the new TRDS, the rest of the 2020 Vigo lineup introduces changes of a sportier interior and exterior styling and a spacious interior. More advanced features include the push to start button, steering switch, power door lock, and a new instrument panel. With the TRDS variant, the Wego's fun and practical image is amplified with a host of sporty new exterior features. To complement this fun design, interior details have also been upgraded to have a more convenient and secure experience. Refreshed to appeal as a sporty entry-level car on the road, the TRDS variant comes with TRD spoilers and skirts, as well as dashboard camera for safety assistance. And popular among the younger market, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto makes the passengers feel more connected. The new WeGo is full of functional features packed into a cute, compact vehicle. Some WeGo variants have LCD touch panel type AC, power attract and adjust side mirrors, and features redesigned seats and chrome accents. On the safety front, SRS airbags for the driver and front passenger, back sonar, and the anti-lock brake system are made available. Coming in three variants, the new Toyota WeGo starts at 568,000 pesos and comes in six different colors. The E-Grade starts at 568,000 pesos while the G-Grade is priced at 623000 for the manual transmission and 658000 for the automatic transmission. While a sporty yet practical top-of-the-line TRDS variant is available at 700000 pesos. Customers will also be able to choose from six exciting shades. Orange, silver, gray, white, black, and a cheerful new color perfect to jumpstart the new normal, yellow. Isuzu Philippines Corporation held its first online vehicle launch with the unveiling of the 2020 D-MAX Boondock 4x4. The launch also comes with the introduction of the company's new motoring lifestyle campaign, Live Life Differently. We would like to formally introduce to you our latest pickup variant, the new Isuzu D-MAX Bundok 4x4. Purposely named after the mountain, the Bundok display an active lifestyle, a change from conventional, and a leap toward living your life differently. This vehicle will give you the confidence on the road so that you can slowly rediscover the joy of driving. The following segment will highlight how even with all these uncertainties and our adjustment to the new normal, the new Isuzu D-MAX Bundok 4x4 is your perfect vehicle of choice. The new D-MAX offering boasts rough and rugged styling, coupled with engine performance for off-road driving. Additionally, it's been designed to handle all types of terrain, sand, gravel, riverbed, mud, and rocks. Meanwhile, the Live Life Differently campaign responds to the challenges of the new normal. Go beyond the comfort of our homes, explore the outdoors, and open ourselves to more adventures, all while driving an Isuzu vehicle. 
The Bundok, as the name suggests, is designed to be driven off-road, traversing slippery, muddy, and rocky terrain. This is one pickup that is not afraid to go on a hill climb or hill descent, and is meant to be used to drive on challenging situations. Under the hood of the D-MAX Boondock 4x4 is a Euro 4 compliant 4JJ1TCX 4-cylinder inline blue power 3-liter diesel engine with a VGS turbocharger and intercooler. This is made into a 6-speed manual transmission with gear shift indicator or a 6-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift. This is capable of producing a maximum of 177 horsepower at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 380 Nm of torque at 1,800 to 2,800 RPM. For its design and accessories, the monotube nitrogen-charged front and rear shock absorbers ensure instantaneous response to changing road conditions, offering faster damping reaction. Driving a pickup does not have to be all bumpy, which is why the Bundok is equipped with a nitrogen-charged monotube shock absorber, a unique feature that lets you express the rigidity and ease of maneuvering. Bundok owners will not be afraid for it to be lambasted with stones or pebbles along the way. The 2020 D-MAX Boondock 4x4 is available in red spinel, cosmic black, titanium silver, and silky pearl white colors. The manual variant is priced at 1,725,000 pesos, while the automatic at 1,795,000 pesos, but a 95,000 peso discount is available until the end of June as part of the company's monsoon promo. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. She'll take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. There's a surfeit of brands and models to choose from in the mid-size sport utility vehicle segment. Making the choice even more difficult is that they come in many trim levels and prices. In this edition of Head to Head, we pit the 2020 Ford Everest against the 2019 Sangyong Rexton. Every year, automakers up the ante in the competition for primacy in the sport utility vehicle market. This is particularly true in the mid-size segment. Upping the ante with new body kits, tweaked headlamp and rear combination light design, reshaped rims, uprated engines, new color palettes, and chrome levels. And in the cabin, new concept interior designs and added safety, comfort, and convenience features. 
This is not to mention the promos. It is for the automaker's vehicle development and marketing people to determine what needs to be tweaked or tuned. Options are added or reconfigured to continue to peak interest and generate sales. In this edition of Head to Head, we compare spec to spec the 2020 Ford Everest 2.0L Bi-Turbo Titanium Plus 4x4 Automatic against the 2019 Sanyang Rexton 2.2 liter 4x4 Automatic. Let's start off with the dimensions and exterior features. The 2020 Ford Everest Bi-Turbo Titanium 4x4 Automatic is 4.893 meters long, 1.862 meters wide and 1.836 meters tall with a 2.850 meter wheelbase. The 2019 Sanyang Rexton 2.2 liter 4x4 automatic is 4.850 meters long, 1.960 meters wide, and 1.8 meters tall with a 2.865 meter wheelbase. Just a bit shorter, much wider, and not as tall as the Everest. Both the 2020 Ford Everest and the 2019 Sanyang Rexton embrace the conventional mid-size five-door sport utility vehicle look. The Everest with smoother rounded curves and subtle lines. The Rexton with slightly angular seams and more pronounced lines. This slight difference in design cues is carried over to the 20-inch alloy wheels with 265 by 50 R20 tires in the Everest 4x4 Titanium and the 20-inch alloy rims wrapped by 255 by 50 R20 tires in the Rexton 2.2 liter 4x4. The Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 anteed up the exterior with heavily chrome grills. LED projector headlamps with auto on and off feature, daytime running lights, fog lamps in the front and in the rear, LED tail lights, panoramic moonroof, splash guards in front and rear. Exterior features that add to convenience include rain sensing wipers, side mirrors with turn indicator repeaters that can be folded and adjusted electronically, side steps and the hands-free power lift gate. The 2019 Sanyang Rexton 2.2 liter 4x4 fascia does not feature as much chrome. Other exterior features include integrated HID headlights, turn signal, and daylight running lights, fog lamps in front and rear, and integrated C-shaped rear lights, reflectors, spoiler with high mount stoplight in the rear, and roof rails. Both are made of body-on-frame construction and use front double wishbones with coil springs and rear multi-link suspension. Comparing powertrains, the 2020 Ford Everest 2.0-liter bi-turbo titanium plus 4x4 automatic is powered by a 1,996cc DOHC 16-valve inline-four diesel engine with twin-turbo intercooler that is said to generate 213 horsepower at 3,750 revolutions per minute and 500 newton meters of torque from 1,750 to 2,000 RPM. Power can be sent to all four wheels via 10-speed automatic transmission with select shift. Underneath the hood of the 2019 Sanyong Rexton 2.2-liter 2 4x4 automatic is an inline-4 2,157cc DOHC 16-valve turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine with CRDI, generating a max 181 PS at 4,000 RPM and a max 420 Nm of torque at 1,600 to 2,600 RPM. Power and torque is delivered to all four wheels via seven-speed transmission. Both mid-size SUVs in this spec-to-spec -spec comparison are seven-seaters with two plus three plus two configuration. The Everest opted for dark leather upholstery for seats and trim. The Sanyang chose tan, two-tone, and stitched leather for seats and trim. The second and third row seats split and fold to provide flexible sitting and luggage arrangement. Ford and Sanyang also filled their top-of-the-line mid-size SUVs in the local market with a surfeit of comfort and convenience features commonly found in premium vehicles. 
driver and front passengers in the Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 enjoy an 8-way power adjustable seat. The third row seatback has power folding function. Among other convenience features, Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 owners get smart keyless entry with push button start, dual color 4.2 inch cluster screens, power windows, dual zone electronic automatic air conditioning, illuminated front scuff plates, active noise cancellation, three auxiliary 12 volt outlets, and a 230 volt inverter in rear console, and tire pressure monitoring system. Among other features, Sanyang Rexton 2.2 liter 4x4 owners also get power seat adjustments, 8-way for driver, 6-way for front seat driver, heated and ventilated front row seats, power windows, remote trunk controllers, electronic power steering, tilt and telescopic steering wheel that has controls for many onboard functions from audio to cruise control, keyless entry, push button start, dual zone climate control, combination of analog gauge and digital info display. Infotainment inside the Everest comes with an 8-inch touchscreen ready for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, voice-activated controls, two USB ports, digital radio, and navigation, 10-speaker system with subwoofer power amplifier. Infotainment aboard the Rexton comes with 8-inch touchscreen also ready for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, AM, FM radio, auxiliary and USB ports, iPod and Bluetooth connectivity, and 6-speaker system. Ford and Sanyang saturated their local top-of-line mid-size SUVs with safety and security features. Aside from seat belts for all seven occupants in the Everest Titanium Plus 4x4, Ford chose to install anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, stability control, traction control, blind spot warning, hill start assist, hill descent control, airbag for driver and front seat passenger, driver knee and front curtain, aiding safe driving are parking sensors and reverse camera. For safety, the Sanyang Rexton 2.2 liter 4x4 has, among others, seat belts for 7, ABS, EBD, brake assist, stability control, traction control, hill start assist, hill descent control, driver, front passenger, and front curtain airbags. The Rexton also comes with parking sensors and reverse camera. A cursory look at the specs show the 2020 Ford Everest 2.0-liter bi-turbo titanium plus 4x4 automatic offers a longer list of features than the 2019 Sanyang Rexton 2.2-liter 4x4 automatic. But the top-of-range Everest has a pre-COVID-19 retail price of 2,299,000 pesos compared to the more expensive Rexton's 2,230,000 pesos. As we transition towards a new normal, with auto dealerships reopening, it should be interesting to see if auto retail prices flatten and fall. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies.
Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. An auto detailing shop had the bright idea of developing their own products for cleaning in car interiors and exteriors. They soon found success selling these products and later branched out to selling cutting-edge headlights and other aftermarket accessories. This week's Autofocus special feature reports on the rise of zero-stain automotive. Ten years ago, an auto detailing shop was born, but the owners were not satisfied with just cleaning cars and restoring exterior and interior finishes to almost brand new levels. Today, Zero Stain Automotive has carved its own niche in the auto aftermarket sector as a distributor of its own line of car care products and cutting edge automotive lighting products, among other aftermarket accessories. Next start kami nung 2010 as a detailing shop. Tapos hanggang nagkaroon na kami ng sariling products katulad ng watermark removers. Then nag-add na kami ng mga products like LED sa halogen for headlight. While Zero Stain Automotive became first known as seller and distributor of its own line of car detailing products, today it has established a reputation as a supplier of Pegasus brand LED and halogen headlamp bulbs that use German lighting technology. Expanding into the distribution of LED and halogen headlamp bulbs was more than a business strategy or initiative. Kasi naisip namin na yung LED sa halogen, um, gusto rin namin mag-promote ng road safety. Kasi pag yung install yung product namin, mas magiging better yung visibility sa gabi. Upgrade talaga siya from yung uh, stock or OEM na bulbs. Pegasus Halogen Headlamp Bulbs with German Skyline technology are said to produce brighter light, which reach farther than stock halogen bulbs. They come in various colors or Kelvin values, pure yellow at 3000 K, yellowish, which is recommended for best visibility at 4300 K, and ultra white at 5000 K. They also come in various socket types and wattage to safely replace OEM bulbs of a wide array of car brands and models. One caveat though, it is important that replacement bulbs match the specifications listed in a car's manual, which can also be found in a car's headlamp bulb socket. This means they can be safely and easily installed in vehicles without need of replacing or modifying stock wiring and sockets. Zero Stain Automotive built its reputation as distributor of quality aftermarket products and accessories on its own line of car care products. The all-purpose cleaner namin pwede siya gamitin sa interior, sa seats, sa dashboard, sa mga panel sa loob, sa mga mahilig mag-DIY, yun, pwede siya sa gamitin. Yung touch-up pen namin, yun, pag na-chip off yung mga paint sa car, pwede mo siya i-touch up using our product. So, yun, magagamit niya for kung may konting gas-gas or konting chip, pwede siya i-retouch using our product. Zero Stain is well-placed to overcome the challenges of the new normal as it already in place an online shop which offers free shipping or delivery of its products even as it continues to supply its products to retailers. Pwede nila bilhin yung products namin through online sa website namin is www.zerostainautomotive.com or pwede rin bumili sa mga dealers namin.
the automotive aftermarket sector has survived many periods of economic crisis in the past. And many expect it will also survive the economic downturn brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Dad, Dad, you okay? Iwan mo na yan. Ako na bala dyan. Let's go. Hatid ko na kayo. Tara. Excuse me. <coughs> Let's go! Thank you. You always have my back. Have fun. I will. Be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Known for being Isuzu's toughest pickup, the D-Max is here with its latest offerings pre-community quarantine. Let's take a look at the LSA 3-liter 4x4 manual transmission. The exterior of the D-MAX LSA is one that boasts modern styling. This is evident with every dark grey front grille and bumper, coupled with sidestep board and rocker panel, cargo extender and roof rails. These features make up for a tough stance of the LSA. Furthermore, the two-tone 18-inch alloy wheels complete the look of the iconic pickup. Let's check out the interior design of the LSA. Inside the LSA, mostly everything is dark and fitted with leather seats. Not much different from the other existing LSA variants. The front seats feature bucket seats with adjustable headset, back pockets, and convenience hook. While comfort is a top priority in the LSA, convenience is also the main focus here. The pickup is equipped with the auto climate control air conditioning system, passive entry, push start stop system, 12 volt accessory socket, three USB charging ports. For the infotainment system, the LSA comes with an eight inch full touch infotainment system that is available in CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, and iPod connectivity among others. It's time to take a look at what's under the hood of the LSA. 
The LSA is powered by a 3.0 liter four cylinder inline blue power diesel engine with VGS turbo intercooler that is capable of generating 177 PS of power and 380 Nm of torque. These figures are coupled with a six speed manual transmission with gear shift indicator. For safety and security, the LSA is equipped with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, traction control, electronic stability control, hill start assist, and hill descent control. That was all about the 2020 Isuzu D-MAX LSA 3-liter 4x4 manual transmission. One of the car company's latest offerings in the pickup segment. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we're going to be talking about brakes. Car brakes are pretty are simple enough to understand. Step on the pedal, car stops. Not much science, right? The reason it works that way is because modern braking works so flawlessly, everybody literally takes it for granted. Those things that you hear in the news that, oh, bumanga, sumemplang, dal, nawala ng preno, that's not true. That almost never happens. Even on a clunky Jeep, if there is brake fluid in there somewhere, that Jeep will stop. So there's no such thing as you lose brakes. No, that's not true. And on all cars now, you have a set of these. This brake. I'll dispel the first myth. Brakes do not stop your car. No. Tires stop your car. Brakes slow your car down. But tires are the ones that do the stopping. That's myth number one. Myth number two. Disc brakes are better than drum brakes. Loaded question, but generally, no. They work exactly in the same way and actually in some instances, drum brakes are actually better. That's why you will still see majority of the cars here have disc brakes in the front, drum brakes at the back. Even the newer ones like the Nissan Terra has still drum brakes at the back because it works. It's efficient and it's almost foolproof. <laughs> All right, myth number three. Nangangalawang yung preno ko eh. Normal ba yun? Yes, it's very normal. The material that your brake disc is made from is cast iron. It has to be cast iron because once this metal gets hot, it becomes somewhat malleable and ductile, which causes it to grip the brake pad even more. So it's somewhat sticky in metal terms. It cannot be stainless steel, it cannot be aluminum, it cannot be plastic, it cannot be brass, and it definitely cannot be gold. So yes, if it's iron or bakal, mangangalawang yan, and that's perfectly normal. So this is what your stock disc brake looks like flat pancake looking frisbee thing. What you'll see most in people put is something like this. Same size as stock, but has dimples, sometimes holes, has these slots. These are referred to as racing brake rotors. Now, the big question, will my car stop better if I put this as opposed to this one? The honest answer, if you're just driving along Metro Manila, no. Your car will not stop faster because you have this. It will look better, but no, it will not reduce your stopping distance in any way. So why bother do you have stuff like this? Well, as the name implies, racing brake discs. This comes into play once you do actual racing. With the slots and the dimples, this is a bit cooler. You will not brake any better because you have this, but it will allow you to stay on the race course longer by a lap, maybe two laps, and that's important in racing. Before your brake starts to fade and you have to go back to the pits, this is where this comes in. It cools down faster in, in a racing environment, but it will also come to a point that it will not cool down no more if you abuse the car too much. So once that happens, your brakes will start to fade, you will start to lose brakes, then that means, okay, time to stop, time to go to the pit, cool down. These are actually the other equation of braking. And if you do want better braking, easiest and fastest is just, just change one of these things. The brake pads. They're cheap enough, they're plentiful enough, and they're pretty easy to do. 
you have a set of tools, a couple of friends, you can do this in one afternoon. So we have here different brake pad sizes and it does not take a genius to see which can brake better. Obviously, the big brake pad versus the small brake pad. And this is where the third part of the equation comes in, the brake caliper. <laughs> this is your brake pad. This wears down. Its job is to keep wearing down. This is a friction material. This one presses along the disc here, both sides. If you don't have your foot on the pedal, it's slightly gapped like that. But once you press it, it will press down. Then it will cause this to slow down. This gets worn out over time. And the easiest way to see if it needs changing, you just simply take a look at it. You can see through your wheels and through the brake pads. If it goes down to this line, then yeah, time to change. And as this goes down, as it wears down, you will feel your brake pedal get deeper and deeper and deeper. When you change to a fresh set of pads, your brake pedal automatically becomes firm again, just like magic. Now, you can buy several different brands of this one. There's, of course, OEM, there's replacement, there's Japanese replacement, there's Korean replacement, there's brand name performance brake pads. So which should you buy? Get whatever you can afford. It's come to a point that there's no such thing as a bad brake pad. All of them will stop your car. It's just that if you want something better, then you go for the brake pad brands that are known for performance, like Brembo is one that does OEM pads. EBC is another one. Hawk is another one. They have a different compound here that once it reaches operating temperature, allows it to grip the brake disc more, causing you to slow down faster. Note I said slowing down, not stop. This is what actually applies the force from your foot down to the brakes itself. As you can see, these are the two brake pads here. That's the brake disc in there. So this will squeeze down on the brake disc once you press the pedal. This is a four piston caliper. Why is it four? Because there are literally four pistons here. So it's just one, two, three, four. There's four cylinders here. Your normal car has one, maybe two pistons at the most. That's it. This is a big brake setup. Why is it bigger? It's bigger than this standard rotor that's supposed to be for this Civic. And the way that it works, very simple. Physics. The longer the distance here, this is basically a lever. The longer the distance, the more force you can generate by applying it on the end. So this is it. That's how big brakes work in essence. And then another myth that is proliferating has to do with big wheels. Why do all these supercars have big wheels that everybody wants to emulate? It's because the need to house bigger brakes. It's not just because it looks nice and has more grip. No, they have big wheels to so house big brakes. That's the only reason why supercars have big wheels. And on a final note, I always like to say, you can have too much power, but you can never have too much braking. So when do you want to upgrade your brakes? Oh, trust me, you will know the time counts. You will have one or two close calls. It will say, that, oh, ugh. I should need to upgrade my brakes already. So there, now you have a better understanding of how your car brakes works and is it worth upgrading the brakes or not? Now you know. That's our feature on Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made more easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe.